fall in love with my country, but I only understand it after travel. Because when you're traveling, you can perceive uh, how, what are the good points and bad points of your country. And I think that we have a good mix. I know that you are professional and you know about more about coffee, knows a lot, but for Napolitans it's a different approach. I say I'm parted because I'm divided because I have an emotional approach and a scientific approach. Because in Naples coffee is like it's like blood. We have coffee inside. Well, the Chiva is a means of transportation to the countryside. The Chiva goes up by the steepest sides of the Colombian Massif to transport the coffee of the harvest to the market. My name is Javier San Juan Gomez, a coffee producer in the department of Huila in the municipality of Pitalito. I am the owner of the Bella Vista Finca. This finca produces excellent quality coffee. Various varieties are cultivated here, like Castillo, Coffee Varieties Colombia, Supremo, Taji, Geisha. We also produce the popular one coffee that we have just started producing. It's a lot. Me encanta que esto es una cooperación de mujeres, ¿sabes? Sí, claro. Por la de calidad de género. Trabajamos, trabajamos. Cada pedalito también. Que los zapatos son los que no funcionan. I just want to say to you that official timing is one hour. The picking competition is the most important competition for Barista and Farmer 2018. But it is not only important for the competition. The picking is the first step for the quality. So guys, today you have to pick the, the ripe cherry representing here with the red color. Today I was working in, with a really professional women. It's the first day of our competition but of, of farmers, not barista. And we met a cooperative of coffee culture women. And this is, this is for me that I love the gender equality. It's really, really interesting. And I work all the time with Nelly my partner and it's really interesting because she takes care of me and I take care of her. The producer country are completely exploited by the consumer country. I think that we have to create and construct a more fair relation between producer and consumer country. We need it. Coffee is who? Okay. okay. So we take it from you, we weigh it. Yeah, I'm going to take it away. Take it back here. Yeah, in the same order. So what are you going to do? I'm going to hand you coffee okay. all day long. There is so much variety, and everywhere they prefer it in a different way. It is a way of saying good morning, a coffee at 5 o'clock in the morning. The first thing you are offered when you go to visit someone is a coffee. Espresso is linked to Italy because um, we can say that we invented it, but uh, it's not a kind of coffee, but it's a process. So we select some different quality to create a blend that has some organoleptic characteristic in the cups. And after we roast it separately because we every kind of coffee that we select have a different profile roasting that we can't 
see another kind of extraction. But this is changing, so now is the time. <laughs> So many times in the industry we're cupping to evaluate a coffee that we've never seen before. So it's the first time we, we uh, uh, meet this coffee and we want to find out what is possible in a coffee. Uh, often we're cupping to uh, do quality control for a coffee. So we want to, we, maybe we already know the coffee and we want to make sure that we're still roasting it correctly. It still tastes the way that we think it should taste. And that happens through the year or as long as you have a coffee. So it's really important for us to be able to be unbiased so that we are assessing the coffee quality no matter what and happens when I coffee. smell a dark roasted espresso, I feel at home. <laughs>